Bonito Donaire. Oh my God. Well, first of all, I want to thank everyone out here for supporting this fight. Salat mga Pilipino dito, maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. And to all the Mexicans who showed up as well, thank you guys for supporting this fight. Um, you know, I just came out there, believing what I had, what, what I had uh, this talent that God has given me. You know, um, actually, I predicted this second round knockout, I think it was second round, um, uh, like three months ago. He seemed to be finding his rhythm a little bit in the second round right before you knocked him out. Can you talk about that? Oh, that rhythm was given because I wanted to see that exactly what I did. I just wanted to see how his body was, how, um, where his head was going to be, and that's when I timed it. I mean, I, you know, you have to take some in order for you to gain some knowledge. So you're operating in the matrix, everything is slowed down for you? Pretty much, that's what I keep telling everybody, but people think I'm crazy because I can see it that way in that ring. And that's why I knew exactly what was going to happen, where, where, where he was going to be at, and uh, definitely, I did it. Nonito, we did a feature on you and your father before the show. A lot has been made about the fact that you had to strike out on your own and become your own man. How do you feel about that now? I mean, I think God has his plan, and I will just have faith in God's plan. But, you know, I am thankful that I have everybody in my corner. You know, I got Robert Garcia, Jonathan Pinulosa, um, uh, Michael Basil, Cameron Ford, Cameron Duncan, and most of all, Victor and Remy Kurchimni. They're just fabulous, and I love them to death. And most of all, my wife, thank you so much. I love you, baby. Now, you can stick around and beat up the bantamweights and the junior bantamweights as you've been doing your whole career. You're only lost. You're in your second pro fight, essentially undefeated. <laughs> or you could move up and target some bigger and better game. Juan Manuel Lopez and Gamboa come to mind. They've been talked about for each other. But what about for you? I think that I want to be undisputed in this weight class. And if that doesn't happen, I got my, my, got my, my, th my trust and faith in, uh, in, in Cameron Duncan. And if that's 122, let's go. If that's 126, let's go. I think that it keeps me moving. It keeps me be the best of who I am and most of all the people that supported me. I thank them so much. Pound for pound is made a lot of in boxing. Floyd Mayweather is inactive. Sergio Martinez has a tough assignment ahead. If he doesn't win it, it's you and Manny Pacquiao, Pacquiao and you, on the top of the list. Can you talk about how you feel about the fact that he is Filipino and you are Filipino-American? I believe that uh, Pacquiao has, has given me this opportunity, and I always will thank him for that. You know, um, I don't mind being number two, and uh, definitely, you know, that's a fantasy. But I, if, if it goes to that, it's the best against the best. And you know what? It's good for boxing. Why not? But, you know... Are you saying that you would one day want to fight Manny Pacquiao? No, no way, no way. Like I said, I have, I have the utmost respect for Manny. You know, he... Like I said, I don't mind being number two. I'm happy being number two, if that's what people call me. I am here, and I'm blessed, and I'm just, I just have uh, the, the, the best people around me, and I'm happy. And, and that makes me number one in them. Well, you're certainly number one so far in everyone you fought. And uh, we look forward very much to seeing you again in the near future. I hope so. I hope so. And uh, thank you guys so much for giving me this opportunity, Bob, Top Rank. And everyone, uh, WBO and WBC, thank you guys. I got you guys' stuff now, and it's going to be hanged with, with utmost respect. The electrifying Nonito Donaire.